Hey -o, duckies! Andy Lippy here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today it's kind of not advanced, but we're looking at creating image slideshows inside of OBS. You don't need any plugins or anything for this, but before you do get on with the video, make sure you do like it and also subscribe for further tips around OBS and streaming, and let me know if you've got any questions or anything you want me to cover in these videos in the comments below. Put your over the stone, let's go! Right, so for this, just make sure your OBS is up to date. I'm not sure what version this was brought in, but I know it's definitely around in the latest version in OBS 25. So let's just take a look at the OBS right now. If we go to sources, we're gonna add a source and you'll see there will be image slideshow. We just click on that. I'm just gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it image slideshow for now. And it's pretty self-explanatory in here. Visibility behavior is whether or not you want it to always be playing or stop playing when not visible visible, restart when visible, or pause it when it's not visible and unpause it, so depending on what you want. If you want to kind of run through a series of photos and then kind of bring it back from where you left off, that's where you change that. I'm just going to always play for now. I'm going to change the slide mode if you want to. You can use hotkeys to control how the slideshow works. So it, when you select that, go into file and hotkeys, I'll show you where that is next. You can change your transition. I'm just going to leave a standard fade on for now. I'm going to call it 5 seconds because 5,000 milliseconds is 5 seconds. I'm going to call it that for now. The transition speed, 700, that seems fine. Loop the amount of videos. So all the videos that you add, it'll just continue, continuously put it in a loop. I can't talk again. Hide when slideshow is done. Randomize playback as well. So it doesn't play the, the, video, uh, the photos in order. It can just randomize that playback. Uh, the bounding size you can actually set so it sticks to a certain size. So if you've uh, got some square images, for instance, you can force it to be in a 16 by 9 or whatever ratio you do want in there. And next, we just need to add the image files in. So I press plus. I can add the files manually. So if I press add files, uh, I've got some files just in here. So this Teletubbies one, you can add individual files if you want to, just like so. You just double click on whichever one you want. I'm gonna actually add a directory and that will add this entire folder. So I hit misc, because that is my full folder and you should see we get a bit of a preview here. So I can resize it and make it full screen. This is my cowboy scene. If you wanna see this, come and visit me, twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy. It's pretty crazy, not gonna lie. It, it's, yeah, we're, we're a bit special over there. And once that's done, we can hit okay. So right now it's just kinda of gonna sit on that one device we need to go to settings now and go to hotkeys and when you're searching for a hotkey you need to make sure you look in the correct place so we've got the show image slideshow we've got hide image slideshow uh, on the scene but we can also if we go down to the source that i've created which is the image slideshow i really should have called it something better than that we can play it we can restart we can pause we can do next slide previous slide that this is if you put it on a manual setting if it's automatic, it'll just automatically do it with whatever you've set up previously just in here. So if I press uh, the fade, 5000 and it's 700 uh, milliseconds for the transition to kick in. If I, if I uh, put that back onto automatic, I'll give it 5 seconds and it will move to the next image just like so. So that is how to create a, a very basic image slideshow that either you can control or OBS just does automatically. It can be great for using for, for start screens, different things like that. So if you've got different competitions or maybe you want to use your old Instagram photos or your, maybe your YouTube thumbnail to just showcase that you've got a new video out before you go live. It can be used in so many different ways. So I want to see what you come up with with that one. Please let me know in the comments below what you do come up with. But until next time, guys, like the video. Subscribe and put your rock up in the stone. Thank you.